Hello, my Pisces. <clears throat> this is a reading to see who is this person that is in your energy and what they're bringing or what they brought to the table when you were dealing with them. We're going to start with some Romance Angels cards for you guys as a foundation for this reading. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Hmm. <clears throat> Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like this is saying so far to not wait around to see what this person's going to do. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Which is contradicting itself. <laughs> hmm. It's contradictory here. But you deserve love. I I'm feeling like this is like a message for you to clear your energy from past situations in order to allow new love into your life the love that you actually deserve okay let's see what's going on with them or what was going on with them this is a vice versa tarot I know you guys can't see me but usually when I use a vice versa tarot I close my eyes because I don't want to see what card I'm pulling and what side is on before I pull it so let's see <clears throat> who is this Huh. We have a Six of Pentacles here. I feel like this is somebody that's very selfish. And they were only thinking about themselves. They they made you feel like they didn't have time for you. Or um, they didn't reciprocate what you were actually extending to them. This is Taurus energy here. <clears throat> Very selfish energy, I'm feeling. It's mine, mine, mine. And then we have the Five of Cups. They took you for granted. They took you for granted. And when they did it, this is like the Seven of Swords energy for me. The air energy. Um, it, they had no regard for you. They disregarded you. And that's how you felt a lot of the times, being with them. They took your love for granted. That's you. That rose. That red rose. They took you for granted. Scorpio energy there. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, when, when you are with someone and you're doing the best that you can, and you're you're trying to like be with this person and and they're just constantly like doing things that you feel like well damn you know am i not showing you how i feel about you that i love you am i not doing that because they're constantly doing the opposite of what you're doing It's time to unpack that baggage with them and leave it there. Unpack it with them. Unpack it with that situation and leave it there. And so you can open up your energy to actually get what you deserve. You can't make somebody love you. And you can show them, but you can't make them. And I feel like this person is very stubborn. Very stubborn. This very fixed energy. There's that Aquarius energy. This is a star. Your soulmate is trying to enter your life. Now, I don't feel like we have one soulmate and that's it. I feel like people um, are in our lives to serve different purposes at different times. There is that soulmate that is meant to walk with you throughout this life. 
but there are different people and they don't necessarily have to be intimate uh, relationships with these people but um, I definitely get that there's someone that's trying to enter your life this person may be trying to come back into your life too I think they're just pretty confused and pretty um, disillusioned you know I don't get that they don't care about you I feel like this person um, they just need some work they need some healing they need some healing they need to be open they need to be honest they need to express themselves if that's the case let you know just what you mean to them because I do get that they they feel like you guys belong with them. But I feel like there's somebody else trying to come in for you. But their energy is all around you. And as I look on top of this deck, I see this heartache it's here. Okay. <clears throat> And here we have the Ten of Cups. This is this is the wonderful love in the Ten of Cups on this side. This is that unrequited love. This is you feeling rejected. Feeling like you gave all you had. You 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 showered this person with the attention and they basically um left you in the dark left you by yourself in your own feelings I feel you guys have almost closed yourselves off to uh, anything new and the possibility that there is this awaiting you You deserve this. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. But I feel like this person really has affected you. They really um, caused you to shut down. Okay. They had way too much control. Way too much control here. Fear Taurus energy in your reading. That's the Empress there. I don't know if this person was married. I don't know if this person was involved in another relationship where maybe they had um, a baby's mother, even, or ex-wife, ex-husband. Hmm. The devil. Oh, goodness. They, they really, um, they played with you, but it made them feel good very insecure person but emotionally manipulative okay you feel tied to them they feel tied to you too they feel like you you are theirs what is that the tower you are not theirs you are not theirs and you need to see that you can break away from this that two of wands energy Aries Scorpio here you can break away from this you just you did the thing is I feel like you guys um, are being clouded by your feelings for this person but there is a lot of instability here they're not stable the situation is not built on on a solid foundation and it's time for you to see that and decide what it is that you want for you. Hmm. Ten of Wands there. They're struggling. They're struggling to really um, t hold themselves accountable. They're struggling to hold themselves accountable here. And there's that Five of Cups again. But they do feel regret. They do feel regret. They feel regret. 
they 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 feel like you guys belong with them but it's almost like this ownership type of deal I feel very controlling energy here and it's hard for them to really express how they feel in a positive way Sagittarius Scorpio energy here and the six of wands yeah it's out there love is out there love is out there it's waiting for you but you have to make a decision here you have to make a decision here this person I feel like was all about themselves constantly needing attention constantly needing to be validated um, by you responding in a certain way like you couldn't be without them or you needed them in your life that made them feel like this big person I feel but you guys deserve love you deserve to be loved the way that you need to be loved okay that Leo energy, being confident in who you are, being confident in, in knowing what it is that you want, that you deserve in your life, and what you need from a relationship. Let's see what this person really wants with you. What do they really want with Pisces? Here's my two cards right there. We have greats. Time to go out and have fun. And we have Tulip, Great Passion. They want to reignite something with you here. They want to reignite something with you. Okay, so that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.